Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to thread a serger. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The first thing you need to do is open up your serger from the front and to the side. On all sergers should be able to do this in order for you to actually see the areas in which you need to actually thread. You're going to need a pair of tweezers because this will help you to get into all those areas that are very difficult to get to. My serger has dials. You may find on your serger that you have little disc areas, but the sequence of threading is going to be basically the same. Before you start threading your serger, there is a sequence in order for you to get this right. And the reason being is that you get a better lay of stitch and no breakage of thread. Now think of your overlocker in two halves. Here's the center, and then you're gonna thread the right and then the left. So we're going to go with the upper looper first, the second looper at the end, and then back to the centre, and then you're going to go to your right needle and then your left needle. So it goes one, two, three, and four. I'm starting with my upper looper first, that's the first one you need to thread, and I'm going to be going through these thread paths. And this is kind of to keep the threads being separated. Don't need my um, tweezers at this stage as yet. Another path here. And then I'm going to go around the tension. Now, when you do go around the tension, make sure that it is quite firm. And you can feel it. You should be able to feel that it's quite firm. And then down through it, another thread path. This one here and another one there and then I'll need my tweezers in order to thread it through the eye here and hopefully you can if you've got thread guys that would help as well to make it just a job a little bit easier yes I've got that and my tweezers should just about pick that up and then bring it to the back first one just give it a good few inches centimeters of tail behind and that one's done I'm now threading the lower loop lower looper get that round these thread guides and another one here and we've got another tension dial here and I'm gonna see how loose that is so I'm just gonna yeah that's better that feels a lot more firmer now so you need to make sure that it grabs hold of your thread and it keeps the tension quite taut and another one down here now this is the one that causes the most problems and can take a lot of time and frustration getting it right so I think I should be able to just get that yes through there and now I'm going to need my tweezers in order to get it through the next thread path caught it there and then this is where it becomes tricky with a lower looper I need to get my thread in between the back or the side of the serger and get my tweezers in there to find it so I'm just gonna <laughs> go around the camera so you can actually see where I'm going to be threading so this is a section here it needs to come through and then I've got to go through this little hole here and then bring it through to the top of the machine. So I just need to make sure that it goes through this one next, which I'll do hopefully now in one go. Let's hope. So you should be able to see that coming through any moment. This is, this is the problem that causes most frustration is a lower looper because you have to be going from the front to the side of your looper and then using your tweezers to help find and grab hold of your thread yes I've got that through now I'm happy with that I'm just gonna snip a bit of that thread away and the next tricky one I'm gonna go around again 
is to get it through this tiny hole here. Now you can use your hand wheel to make sure you get it to the furthest point towards you. Yes, I've got it there. And then use my hand wheel and bring it towards me. Hopefully I'll be able to catch my thread. Yes, I've done it. There we go. And then it's going to go through this eye here. Let's see if I can, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think I should be able to do that in one go. Brilliant. And then pull that through and towards the back. The right side of the serger is now completed, the upper looper and lower looper, which is the most tricky one as you've just seen. The next thing is start on the left side of your serger and we're going to start with this one here, which is going to be the right needle. So again, get my threads, my thread through these little holes here. And these are the scan of the guide pass around the dial here. Pull it quite taut, yeah, that feels okay. Around here. And then I'm going to go over this tension here and there and then. It can be a bit tricky trying to get, make sure using your hand wheel you bring your needles up to the highest point. And then it's again your tweezer and then threading the needle on the right. Make it a little bit shorter so I've got that through. No, I haven't. Yes, I've got it this. And then pull that towards the back. The last one is going to be the left needle. Again, following the same sequence as the other three and around around the tension dial make sure it's quite taut along this bar here onto the left side of that and this is the easiest one it's just a case of threading it through the needle hopefully in one go and just make sure you don't have too much that should be roughly about a good distance in order for you to get it through first time says she oh I've done it great and then just grab hold of that with my tweezers and pull that towards the back you now have all the four threads towards the back of your machine and the next thing is to do is do a test run to make sure that you're happy with the formation of the stitching I hope that you found this video tutorial has taken away some of the frustrations of threading your serger. It is worth mentioning that with all sergers there is a colour coded threading system to help guide you so hopefully it will make the whole process just that little bit easier. If you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.